Michael Jackson's shocking autopsy revealed an overwhelming amount about his death. He had bronchiolitis, chronic interstitial pneumonitis, and squamous metaplasia. These are big, big words that just mean a chronically inflamed, underventilated lung. Along with his weakened lungs, the King of Pop had tattoos in the form of pink lips, black eyebrows, and a tattooed hairline to blend with a wig. Jackson's wig was glued to his scalp and connected by his sparse hair. He was largely bald with scarring on his scalp and at the base of his neck. This is thought to be from a Pepsi commercial in 1984, in which a planned pyrotechnic explosion went wrong and ignited Jackson's hair. He was so badly burnt on the top of he was whole head, the whole top of his head caught fire right in front of my eyes and I couldn't do anything about it I couldn't get to him on time he suffered second degree burns and underwent multiple surgeries in an attempt to salvage his hair growth Michael Jackson endured a series of painful surgeries whereby they cut away scarred areas and stitched his unaffected scalp together. Jackson had scars and puncture wounds all over his arms, hips, thighs, and shoulders from what is believed to be from injecting drugs such as painkillers. At age 50, Michael Jackson weighed 136 pounds and reportedly had such intense insomnia that he had to be sedated in the night and required a catheter. Not a healthy person wears something like this, nor does somebody who's sleeping normally with the help of medication even. Jackson was known for undergoing cosmetic surgeries with three nose jobs by 1983. His face and behind his ears showed marks from his various plastic surgeries and Botox. With an intense fear of growing old and of the aging process, Michael Jackson became a regular client of Arnold Klein, a dermatologist that specialized in dermal filler injections. The star's feet were deformed from calluses and fungal infections that had gone untreated. His knees and shins were also mysteriously bruised as well as cuts on his back that could indicate a recent fall. Jackson's vitiligo, which causes patches of lost pigmentation, was confirmed in the autopsy. Which was a rumor. They said I was putting on cream to make myself lighter. That's not true. I have Jackson had bruising on his chest and broken ribs most likely caused by CPR attempts. The autopsy showed he was taking the drug Flomax, which is used to treat enlarged prostates. There were also a few different benzodiazepines, which are used to treat anxiety and insomnia, as well as trazodone meant to treat major depression or insomnia. There were partially dissolved pills in his stomach and no illegal drugs in his system. 